Hi there, Chicken Nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, hey there, it's good to see you. You caught me in the middle of my daily meditation. That's right, your boy Carl meditates. I take some quiet time each day and think about self-growth. Like, how can I become a better person? A funnier person, a more kind and cool person. And today, I think I finally got it. An idea so great, it will not only help me become a better person, but a better everything. An idea so spectacular, I might be able to live forever. You wanna hear my idea? Sure. Who said that? Show your face! Uh, Carl, it's it's me. Oh, hi Jada. Really want to hear my idea on how to change into a better person? And hopefully immortal. Ready? We're waiting on you. All right, one second. Ah, Ta-da! Uh, okay. So, what do you think? What is it? Look, robot. I'm a robot. Oh, I mean... <clears throat> I'm a robot. <laughs> okay, Carl, how will becoming a robot change you into a better person? Well, one, robots are made from technology. Technology is always progressing and getting better and better every day. I mean, 20 years ago, people didn't even know how to toast bread. But now we have self-driving cars and hoverboards for your dogs. And two, robots live forever. So I'll always be learning and changing, kind of like the transfigmentation. The what? The transfigmentation! You know that story in the Bible where Jesus goes on the mountaintop with his disciples and the disciples see like Jesus change and stuff? Okay, you're thinking of the transfiguration, Carl. Tomato, tomato. Well, I kind of get what you're saying, but there's definitely a lot more to that story. How so? Well, let's look at it. Jesus took three disciples. Peter, James, and John up to this mountain. And when they got up there, something really wild happened. I know, Jesus transfigmentated. It's transfigurated. It means to outwardly transform. Jesus' face began to glow and change. And that's why I'm changing. But it doesn't stop there. It didn't? Nope. Suddenly, two more people appeared. Moses and Elijah. Wait, 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 hold on. Mm, computing. How could that be? Aren't they like from like way before Jesus? Haven't they already like died and gone to heaven? They have, but they were there and they started talking to Jesus. It was then that they were all covered by a cloud and a voice came from it saying, this is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. Hold on. Information overload. Are you telling me right now that the voice that they heard was God's? Yep, it sure was. And that's what makes this story so incredible. We not only get to see Jesus talking with famous people from the Bible, like Elijah and Moses, but we also get to see God speak to his disciples. This was a huge moment for them. Was it really? I mean, I know it is, but how do you know? Well, think about it. Before this moment, the disciples had never experienced anything like this. I mean, hearing the voice of God, that's huge. This moment was crucial, not only for Jesus and his ministry, but to give the disciples even more reasons to believe. What do you mean? How did it change their faith? I mean, like, how did it make them believe in Jesus more? If you were in the disciples' shoes and you saw and heard what they did, how would you feel? Probably amazed, maybe a little scared, maybe a little uncertain. But one thing is for sure, you would never feel the same after seeing, hearing, and knowing that Jesus really is God's son, the savior of the world. Well, when you put it like that, I guess you're right. It would definitely change the old circuit board. <laughs> my head, I mean. It would change my brain and the way I think about things for quite a bit. For sure, the same thing happened to the disciples. So from then on, the disciples were good? Like they changed and never messed up and never doubted again? Not really. Humans, even robots, will always mess up from time to time. Even those of us who have been following God for a long time. But that doesn't mean we're stuck that way. When we begin to follow Jesus, we are not meant to stay the same. We are to change and be like Jesus. But how? 
I mean, I wasn't on the mountain with them. Just like the disciples changed once they realized who Jesus was, we will also change when we realize who God is. What? You're totally right. That makes me, wait, oh no. What? What is it? I'm feeling emotion. <laughs> oh no. Hey there, kiddos. Our big idea today is... We can change when we know who God is. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We can change when we know who God is. Great job, kids. Now, make sure to tune in next week because I have a feeling Robot Carl is going to be sticking around for a bit. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road Hero.